Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And in this video I'm going to talk about the least casual game possible, Rainbow Six Siege, and whether or not solo queuing and ranked is basically bad or good or just okay, you know? And I know there's a lot of opinions about it and I'm just here to say, I'm just sharing my opinion. And my opinion of it comes down to two things. One is if you want to get better at Siege, and one is if you care about your rank in Siege. So, if you are a player like, let's just say, me, sometimes I really, really care about my rank in Siege. Or maybe you're a newer player and you want to just experience ranked, right? Um, if, you, if you care about your rank a lot, then you really, really don't want to do solo queue. Solo queue is for the people who want to get better at basically just the gunplay and the plays and they want to focus on their plays okay now i did a lot of solo queuing in ranked siege um in the third season after the game came out and i have to say i got really good at the game because of it i got good at the gunplay like my friends would play with me and they'd be like holy crap you're so good at this game right and that's because i was solo queuing now another thing that i did with solo queuing is i tried as hard as i could um, not to blame my teammates when I was playing Siege, and that was really, really hard. But if you solo queue and you don't blame your teammates and you just kind of sit there and you feel the game out, you feel it out, you kind of predict where everyone's going to go, you start getting really good at the gunplay, and then you have an easier time adding on that communication element because what I noticed, me personally, is that when I'm playing Siege with Rag and I'm talking to him or I'm in the game chat, my accuracy is not as good as if I'm solo. And it's it's very apparent. Like, just last night, um, I had, like, a 1v4 clutch with perfect accuracy, I think. Maybe I missed two shots out of, like, 30 or something. Where if I was playing with Rag, I probably wouldn't have had good accuracy and I probably would have died. So it's very simple. Solo queue is good for those of you that want to get some good accuracy. And if you don't care about your rank. Another thing that I like solo queue for is you just kind of make some friends. You know, you kind of warm up to each other. Um, and you find those people that, you know, you play in the game chat and you go, hey, I want to play another game with you. And then they be you become friends. And then you, you start to really play Siege together. I like that aspect of it. And then, of course, you know, solo queue is... is <sighs> There's the downside of it, which is, okay, you're solo queuing and you don't use the mic, okay? So let's say you're a person like me where you solo queue and you don't use the mic. That can ruin ranked for a lot of people because of the lack of communication, okay? Now, let's say you're with, there's a party of four and you're like the dude who's solo queuing who doesn't use a mic. You're probably not gonna be the favorite child of your team, like, at all. You're gonna be the hated one. Casual, it's a different story. Casual, it's pretty much accepted that you just run around try to kill people right but in ranked communication is key and so solo queuing it's a mixed bag all right you have your rank goes up and down people judge you heavily by your rank and that also sometimes determines the difficulty of the people that you're playing against and then you also have the potential lack of comms and that can play a huge role in whether or not you have a successful ranked game so my opinion on it is if you want to get better at the gunplay in Siege, or maybe you want to learn the maps, you don't want everyone yelling at you all the time, go ahead and do it. Do solo queue. But know that it comes at the risk of your rank's probably going to plummet, and you're probably not going to be the loved child unless you use a mic in ranked Siege. And that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more uh, Rainbow Six Siege videos, because even though this one might be coming out sometime, I really like the game, and I like making videos about it. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.